at the Jafon showroom. I'm with Liz Marie Galfon. She's with Liz Marie Blog, and she's never been to a market before. So this was a great uh, experience for her to come to the Atlanta market and see all the things that behind the scenes is done for the type of store she has and for lots of stuff that she does. And if you don't follow her blog, you should. So first of all, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Talk first about your blog and what it, uh, how it came about and what it's all about. Yeah, so I blog daily at lizmarieblog.com and we blog about our 1800s farmhouse, our farm life, lifestyle, everything in between. And it came about, my husband was deployed and I was in school for interior design and decided to start a blog 10 years ago. So here we are, it's now my full-time job and we have a lot of fun with it. You've also just launched a new book. I did. Yeah, Tell yes. us about it. It's called Cozy White Cottage, and it is 100 tips to love the feeling of being home. So it's just really simple, easy tips on how to make your home cozy. So I always describe my style as cozy cottage farmhouse. Everything is cozy, but we're not technically like a just a farmhouse vibe and what people think of it. So I add that cottage element in there because it is eclectic. So can you give us three top tips if you want to make your home cozy. Yeah, so number one would of course be to add a lot of texture. Think baskets and different metals and mirror is a texture that people don't think of and glass and things like that. Really think of every vignette or every place in your home and think texture. Another one is to really play off of your paint colors. I know a lot of people really want like bright walls and things like that, but um, really think of your paint colors and think of those white um, paints and you can really play off them and add color in your pillows and in accessories like candle holders and things like that. Another one is bringing the outdoors in. I love adding greenery to every space, whether it's faux or real. A lot of rooms can't really handle um, real plants without sunlight and things like that, but really think of adding greenery to every space to add that cozy element. Many people think they can't live in a white house. You have a new baby. Yes. I live with white all the time. Talk about the ease of living in white if that's a color you love. Yeah, if it's a color you love, I definitely don't want you to live with white if you don't love it. Um, but honestly, we have found some great ways, like having all of our furniture really be either wipeable or slip covered. That's been a lifesaver. We also have a lot of dogs inside our home, um, things like that. We also have our painted floors um, that are white, but if you use like porch and floor paint, it's really easy to clean. And using a color that's not stark white, maybe like a beige color or something more off-white, it hides a lot more than you think. You talked about having in your store everything from that farmhouse to that mid-century modern. Very widespread. Yes. Talk about how you incorporate all of those. Maybe not in the same home, maybe sometimes you do. How, how do those all come together? Yeah, and I think that's with the cottage vibe that I love so much. I like things to be more eclectic. And so I like taking a lot of new items and then maybe adding one vintage item into that vignette. And it just amps it up and it amps up the cozy factor. And I think that's what we do in our store too. We have a lot of different vendors with a lot of different styles and we found with styling all the items together they just work really well together and it's that um, equation of adding like two new items with one antique item it just is instant cozy. Many consumers have spoken with us about not understanding how can there be so many colors of white. How do you help or give consumers information about which white is right for them. It's This is so hard because everyone's house is so different. It's really interesting. Our floor color in our home is called Tapestry Beige, and in my neighbor's home, it looks purple on her walls. So you really have to look at the undertones, and you really have to sample them in your home, because what works in my home might not work in your home, but really look at the undertones and really understand what colors work in your home. Do big swatches on the wall, live with it for a few days, don't just random pick um, a paint color because a blogger said so really test it out and live with it in your home first and one of the things that people have said to me is be sure and look at not only whites but all colors in different lights whether yes. it's sunlight or evening your fluorescence your yep. lights on and off really yeah that's with living with it with a few days look at it in different times of day different light bulbs things like that really live with it and study it and see if it works for your home remind us your blog again lizmarieblog.com and you should follow it it's fabulous 